Hello beautifuls. So um, forgive me if I cry out of happiness during this video. Um, I don't usually make videos where I talk, um, but as most of you might know, I've had a broken flute for a little while, a broken instrument, which uh, most musicians who play for, for their, for their well-being, their hearts, their souls, it can really be heartbreaking. So I have had the opportunity through a blessed guardian angel of mine um, who has given me, um, again, a wonderful opportunity to be able to keep playing, keep going. <laughs> and not only that, but um, if you're in the flute community, you might um, understand how big of a, oh, you might understand why I'm about to cry from tears. Um, so Trevor James. <laughs> so I've, um, I've got a Trevor James flute and I'm about to cry. This is one of the most beautifully made uh, flutes on the market. Um, anything else is, it's still beautiful, it still works, um, but for a student flute to be made like this, it's, it's actually, it's the best quality because it's, it's triple plated. So it's got a silver lip to it and any other flute might be a couple hundred dollars less, but it will, will not be as good of quality. Um, this comes with not only the, the quality um, and the worldwide sourcing of manufacturing and materials and, and such a beautiful story behind the Trevor James, but it also comes with a wonderful warranty where I am able to have it serviced um, without paying the couple hundred dollars that I've been spending on secondhand flutes for the last couple of years. So I've only been playing on, you know, basic tin and alum aluminum, aluminium, I don't know which country you're watching from. I've been playing um, on, on flutes that are amazing and work and have brought me so much healing. Um, but I have not had a new flute in 12, 13 years. That's a long time. Um, I'm rambling because I st I'm still in disbelief that this is happening just right here. <laughs> Pink. <laughs> Um, so I'll be um, unboxing this beautiful instrument so not only I can show um, on my channel um, my, my new best friend but also um, so I can remember this moment um, and yeah sorry for the happy tears I think I got some on the box but um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm still in disbelief um, I could have, I could have basically spent a couple hundred dollars less and bought a flute that is of 20% of the quality and a uh, little secret, um, the other flutes, the concert flute uh, that Trevor James makes, um, I hope Trevor James doesn't get mad at me for saying this, um, it is of equal quality as um, a flute that is $800 more. It just doesn't have the holes in the keys, which of course changes um, the way you play very, very slightly. Not much. So I just took the lid off. And this is inside. <laughs> uh, this is amazing. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I've got such a sooky happy face right now but um ready <laughs> yeah, I can ca I can carry it <laughs> oh gosh it comes with a polishing cloth and a bit of information so I can keep it beautiful and shiny and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm drinking this in. I'm gonna be absorbing every single second of this, regardless of how silly or childish I might seem. This is the greatest gift to my life and my adulthood. This is the most beautiful thing ever. I'm lost for words. I'm lost, I'm lost and I'm found. <laughs> 
Um, so it comes with a shoulder strap, which is great. Um, might as well just put it on now, just uh, so I'm not leaving things everywhere. And ooh, maybe I'll go with the other way. Sorry that my camera isn't so good. I wish I could have it all in one view, but um, as you can see, you can only kind of see half my forehead right now. So here we go. <laughs> Trevor James. Wait, there we go. <laughs> and um, funny thing is, I actually posted on the Trevor James Instagram just recently and posted on one, one of his um, posts uh, about his silver jointed flute, the um, silver lit. Uh, flute or at least silver head joint and I said a girl can dream and he actually responded and he said um, maybe you don't have to dream and I guess life's a dream like this is incredible <laughs> oh I'm such a sook <laughs> I'm good so yep this is the um, cleaning stick goes along of course with the polishing stick so um, if you're a flutist you know uh, to clean your flute every single time to avoid any sort of moisture damage and oh my goodness this is fleecy inside this feels like what Appa from Avatar would feel like this is amazing oh my goodness you could probably polish the flute just with this <laughs> oh wow that is that is actually softer than anything I own already <laughs> if you're into fluffy things um, you'll enjoy this case so I'll just put these over here and I'm ready for the actual unboxing. Now I'm going to put it to camera first and then I'm going to show myself. Okay, so you guys got to see it first. Now I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> look at that marvelous quality <laughs> oh my gosh I must seem like the silliest little silly right now but you know what happiness is happiness and if you don't feel it if you don't express it you'll never know where it can take you so take a moment to to be happy because Music makes me happy, and this is making me bliss. <laughs> so foot first, always go foot first. Look at that, it's so shiny. Oh my gosh. It's absolutely brand new. I've been buying um, secondhand flutes from people that you know gave the flute maybe a month's try or you know a couple lessons try and their parents bought them a brand new flute and then just sat in their closet and then you know I shiny <laughs> then I've come along and I've bought them and um, you know they've been sitting in the closets for so long and you know they work fine but um, this is an another experience usually um I'm a bit more of a DIY, um, secondhand sort of person, but with, with uh, craftsmanship like Trevor James and with instruments, um, it's really nice to have something that is so beautiful. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't show the actual body of the flute, so. Look how gorgeous. Sorry, it's so gorgeous. So with my last um, instrument, um, the technician actually was surprised I could still play because I had actually eroded the whole pad here. And maybe it was already eroded. Um, I just didn't check it properly when I bought it secondhand. It was only 120 or so. And um, he said he's surprised I could still play and I guess you might be able to hear how airy my playing is in the last couple videos, but you know, I can still play and that's what's important. Like, even if you're just clapping your hands, that's, it's music. <laughs> but um, all the pads are cushiony, nothing is peeling or splintered. This is absolutely fresh out of the box. This is incredible. 
all right so to put together um i won't bother tuning it to a perfect key um just yet i will when um i have all my instruments together um my my keyboard is just over there but just for um video sake um i i won't i won't do that i won't bore you guys with that um as as most flutists know usually it's it's a little bit further out than than in when you tune with other instruments um but look at look at that detail if you can see it detail uh, between all the joints it's like i'm about to play some sort of um framework of narnia or Lordess of the Rings. <laughs> okay, so as you might know, it's nice to line up with. Yeah. All right, and beautiful case. I mean, it kind of matches my couch blanket. <laughs> well, I am a dog. No, I'm fine. Okay, actually I'm going to take off my rings because um, I think this is a bit too important to, um, I just want to have the natural feel along all of my digits. And um, I'm just going to try it out, starting with an A and then just maybe a simple C scale. Wow, it just feels different. Okay, you can't feel what I can feel, but this is so much more sensitive than the last flute I was playing. It was so difficult to play. Wow. I feel like I have to relearn how to play. <laughs> could not play a low C for about six months. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I have to... This is amazing. It does feel different. Of course, every flute is made different, but um, this is a lot smaller. So I have to use a bit more... Um, bit, I have to readjust my cognition, which is fine. <laughs> That's what it's all about. And... I can't believe this is happening. This is okay. Shush. I gotta. I gotta play. Not talk. <laughs> So I'm going to try the higher notes now. <laughs> breathe a bit <laughs> wow yeah I've got to relearn how to play <laughs> it's always different using a different instrument um, knowing where to channel the wind to to stop and start the breath it's always a little bit different and um, I hope that you can see in my other videos I, I can usually play the higher notes a little bit better um, 
this is much more sensitive um, and I think with this flute I'll have to have a bit more of a direct um, <laughs> a bit more of a potent direction with um, how I'm blowing to the mouthpiece and by the way I don't know if I said before but this is a silver mouthpiece it's silver my friends silver so I think um, instead of uh, putting extra power into the direction um, I've got actually yeah I'm using the wrong words we all have weird words but um, I've got to pivot it a bit more I've got to adjust my mouth muscles a little bit more so <laughs> As my um, first flute teacher told me, um, it's a kiss smile. So. <laughs> and I'm warming up. So yeah, but you've always got to warm up a flute, of course. Um, it's it's um, especially a brand new flute that's never been played. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say because I didn't think I'd get this far in a video without um, stopping. <laughs> so let's keep going. I really hope I'm not annoying my neighbors because I would love to warm up properly enough to play those high notes crystal clear. Um, so with a couple of my first videos last year, um, I was actually given the opportunity to play a Trevor James quite often. It was not mine. It was a, um, a friend's. And the way I was able to actually get to those top notes and keep the ebb of the wind ringing and um, I think I said before this is triple plated so it's it's much better for um, the, the actual circulation and the, the, the ringing of the, the vibrations <laughs> I guess I have to adjust my musical terminology um, I don't study music I really should um, do a little bit more at home study um, but as I complete my my uni studies, uh, biomedicine, I truly believe that there is such a symbiosis between music and medicine. Um, I really believe that frequency can, can heal more than we have yet studied. I mean, we, a lot of us have heard beautiful stories about dementia sufferers that have suddenly come back to their memories. And um, I personally have an experience um, with with someone um, that had Parkinson's and flute um, brought a beautiful experience but that is not mine to share especially not now um, but I know that music can heal people and we really have to have people s listen to more than things that make them nostalgic you know the more music we listen to, the more it kind of sketches out open spaces in our brains. And I think it's so important to, um, to keep that curiosity alive. And I'm so excited. <laughs>
Okay, well, I'm going to actually um, tune this to my keyboard. Um, I'm going to keep warming up. Hopefully my neighbors don't come down and tell me to shush. <laughs> Hopefully they just um, go to the beach and enjoy the, the sunshine because thankfully I, I live super close to the beach. The sun's starting to go down and um, my happiness is not. So I am hope uh, this un unboxing was of any use to anyone who wants to buy a Trevor James. I'll just quickly get the actual item code and if I do post this, it's a 10XE. 10XE student flute. Trevor James and as you can see, worldwide quality. Actually, I should probably um, cancel that bit out. I'll double check. I don't want to give you my serial code. Anyway, lovely people. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out what I want to compose next. And um, thank you for sharing this with me. <laughs> Bye.